Yeah, thank you very much for your kind introductions here. And first, uh, uh, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the organizer and all the participants for these excellent uh, opportunities. I'm really honored to present at this keynote of your excellent international conference. I'm Tsuyoshi Sekitani from Osaka University. Today, I would like to share with you our technical detail of ultra flexible and stretchable electronic technologies. This research area is rapidly advancing with the development of the digital societies. Today, not only to the expert, but also I would like to introduce this research field to the beginners so that they can understand how interesting it is. I hope you will find my talk of interest. This is outline of my presentations. First, I will introduce the overview and research background of ultra flexible and stretchable electronics. Then current research, development, and uh, applications. Here, I will focus on our recent activities. Finally, a summary and future prospect will be presented. First, I will introduce an overview and the research background of this research field. It is needless to say, flexible, printed, and large area electronics are becoming significantly important in our daily life. Typical example of large area electronics are solar cells, display, sensor, and actuators. This figure shows a technology trend on large area electronics. Here, x-axis is a technology trend, and y-axis is a market volume. Solar cells and display, which are once bulky, have become thinner and lighter for convenience and the larger and the higher resolution have made them easier to watch. Today, they are also evolving to become bendable and rollable. Sensor and actuator are similarly becoming thinner, lighter, and more flexible, but also becoming more conformable and elastic and stretchable. It is expected to play a major role in next generation's IT systems. Thus, large area electronics are rapidly becoming more flexible and stretchable. In this background, my talk will first introduce ultra flexible, stretchable electronic systems with ultimate softness. This slide shows a technical challenge on ultra flexible stretchable electronics. Typical softness is expressed in young modulus. The upper figure shows hard material on the right and the soft material on the left. The hardest material is, as you know, diamond, which has a modulus exceeding 10 to the 12 Pascal here. And the common plastic are about gigapascal, and the common rubbers are about megapascal. On the other hand, the softest material is liquid, whose young modulus is a few pascal, and biological tissues are softer than rubber and the plastic, for example, the young modulus of the muscles and the skins are about a few kilopascal. The brain is the softest biological tissues uh, with a softness about a few hundred pascal. In order to realize the electronic devices that can be applied to soft biological tissues, including human skin, we need not only flexibility, but also the ability to spread over arbitrary three-dimensional curved surfaces. Then it is important to realize simultaneous achievement of mechanical flexibility and electrical performance. 
one of the major applications using flexible stretchable electronics is, as you know, the neural interface. Because brain is extremely soft, existing hard electrode and device can cause damage to the brain tissues. This slide is an example of excellent pioneering research achievement on the brain neural interface using flexible, stretchable technologies. Research and development of electrode and circuit for brain measurement using flexible and stretchable electronics has led to excellent measurement of brain activity, especially electrocardiogram, so-called ECOZ. Efforts to device manufacturing on ultrasound substrate have expanded the range of applications. Highly integrated circuit realized on a one micron thick polymer film have been named as a imperceptible electronics. This concept of imperceptible electronics was first reported in 2012 from Dr. Martin Carten Brunner and Professor Takao Somira the University of Tokyo, and Professor Siegfried Bauer at Johannes Kepler University Linz in Australia. As you may know, now Martin has been promoted to full professor at Johannes Kepler University Linz in Australia. And subsequently, further devices such as imperceptible solar cell, polymer, LED, transistor acting matrix have been realized. It is not only ultimately thin and lightweight enough to attach to the human skin, but it's easy of mounting on a top of bubbles and all the kind of soft material have opened the way for many applications. The idea of imperceptible electronics is increasingly being used as a one micron thick perovskite solar cells for use in flying gliders reported from Professor Martin Carten Brunner from Johannes Kepler University Linz in Australia and digital signage on skin and monitoring living organ activity, including heart and lung. Reported from Professor Tomoyuki Yokota, Professor Takao Somera, the University of Tokyo. Because of imperceptible electronics, long term measurement can be taken without invasiveness of soft organ and skin. This is being considered for use in new medical applications. Ultrasound soft flexible and stretchable electronics have been reported by many excellent research group around the world, as you may know. This slide shows a representative review paper recently published by a professor John Rogers of Northwestern University, US. It presents eight categories of non-invasive in vivo implantable systems. Flexible electronics are utilized as a system that take advantage of their small size and the soft characteristics to get detailed biological information from within the body. The use of soft electronics is not limited to implantable systems, but used in a wide range of wearable biosensors. Left figure show a stick on wearable biosensor that can measure a variety of biometric data on the skin of infants by attaching the soft small wire sensor to the skin. Various biometric measurement can be taken without the feeling of wearing it. And the light figure is an example of a wearable biometric system using optical technologies. The use of spectroscopic analytic technology with a light 
show detailed biological information. As you can see, various biosignal measurements are in progress that take advantage of electrical and mechanical uh, properties of soft electronics. As you can easily imagine, flexible and stretchable electronics requires not only softness, but also high electrical properties. The combination of high mechanical and high electrical property can be achieved by very broad research integrations, such as material, structure, electrical engineering, process technology, circuit, and systems. I wanted to talk about this in detail, but the time is limited. And more than anything, as an excellent keynote, invited speaker, and many researchers <coughs> in your conference have already made presentations at this international conference. So I don't go into detail, but the details are also reported in this excellent review paper. Please refer to it. From now, I will introduce our recent achievement to present more specific research and development. Here, I will present the imperceptible electrical systems with ultra-flexible and stretchable technologies. As I have discussed, one of the applications using ultra-thin and stretchable electronics is biosignal measurement systems. In fact, day-to-day -day healthcare Medical care, nursing care are changing dramatically in the age of digital transformations. We can see significant increase in the use of electrical devices for the healthcare monitoring in the home. Here, it is very important to have electrical devices that do not interfere with our daily life and do not make us feel that we are wearing them. One of the main goals of ultra-flexible, stretchable, and imperceptible electronics is to realize a healthy, safety, and secure society. I will now present some specific examples of this development. This figure shows the ultra thin, ultra flexible, lightweight organic differential amplifier for monitoring heartbeat and electrocardiogram. Cardiogram. We developed in 2019. This work was published in the Nature Electronics and featured on the cover entitled Flexible Amplifier Make Heartfelt Monitors. This is a movie of one micron thick ultra flexible organic differential amplifier. All the transistor circuits are manufactured on one micron thick plastic substrate. By integrating organic thin film transistors, resistors, capacitor, all on a one micron thick plastic film, we were able to fabricate an extremely thin differential amplifier circuit because it is thin and soft. It can be applied to a human skin to amplify biological signal without the feeling of wearing it. Here, I would like to introduce this ultra thin, lightweight biosignal amplifier circuit. The weight is three gram per square meter. Total thickness is 2.5 micrometer, including encapsulation layers. The size is approximately 30 millimeter by 70 millimeter. The critical bending radius is about 10 micrometers, including uh, indicating uh, excellent me mechanical flexibility. The amplification circuit is constructed using ultra thin ultra flexible organic transistors. 
This slide shows a typical manufacturing process of organic transistors. First, we prepare a one micron thick plastic film as a substrate. Aluminum layer is formed using a vacuum evaporator through a shadow masking process to make 100 nanometer thick gate electrode. And subsequently, the surface of gate electrodes are modified using oxygen plasma and to convert to 15 nanometer thick aluminum oxide layers. This is a gate directly layer. Then the surface are again modified using self-assembled monolayer, some octadecyl phosphonic acid. Then the total thickness of the gate dielectric layer comprising aluminum oxide and SAMS is 17 nanometers. Alternatively, depending on the applications and required characteristics, a 10 nanometer thick polymeric thin film high quality polyene polymer was used as a gate dielectric players. Then, 30 nanometer thick organic semiconducting material, dinafto tieno thiophin, so called DNTT, is formed using a vacuum evaporator, work as a P type semiconducting channel. Finally, a gold layer is formed through a shadow masking process to make source and drain electrode with a thickness of 15 nanometers. You can see the cross sections of our gate dielectric layers comprising SAMS and aluminum oxide layers. And you can see this interdegitated structure as a source and drain electrode. After manufacturing the transistor on one micron thick substrate, top surface of the transistor is coated with a one micron thick encapsulation layer using polyene. The young modulus of the encapsulation layer is just the same as that of substrate. In this way, the transistors and the circuit are located at the neutral strain positions. This means expansion strain generated by the encapsulation layer and the compression strain generated by a substrate are canceled out at the neutral layer to zero. This structure leads to the excellent uh, stability and the reliability during the bending stress. These are typical characteristics of the transistors. The channel length is eight micrometer and width is 32,000 micrometers. The transistor can operate within the two volt and there are no hysteresis and no leakage current. Actually, the field effect mobility is 1.5 square centimeter per volt second and sub-threshold slope is 92 millivolt, and the on-off ratio exceeds to 10 to the 8, and the frequency response is achieved to around 10 uh, kilohertz. It is enough to detect the vital signals from the bodies. Uh, these transistor performance are excellent and enough to monitor in biosignal. Another important indicator in transistor performance is a noise level. Among various noise, the most serious noise is flicker noise. The flicker noise is caused by a fluctuation in carrier density due to the trapping and the releasing of the carriers that conduct through the channel. And the flicker noise is also well known as a random telegraph signal and is usually caused by a microvolt noise. Our self-assembled monolayer SAMS plays an important role in suppressing the flicker noise. This figure shows the frequency on the x-axis 
and the current noise density on the y-axis. When polyimid conventional polymer is used as a conventional uh, flexible gate dielectric layer, the green line shows the current noise density with polyimid gate dielectric layers. And next, when we uh, use aluminum oxide film as a gate dielectric layers, the noise level is shown in this blue line. The noise level is about 10 microvolts. This is problematic when we monitor the brain activities. When we use the combination layer of aluminum oxide film and self-assembled monolayer SAMS used as a gate dielectric layer, the noise level is shown in red. The noise level is about 0.1 microvolt. And this shows that the sound film can reduce the noise level by a factor of two. This is very important to monitor the brain activities whose uh, signal is less than one microvolt. Our group used a lot of self-assembled monolayer sums for get dielectric layers. And one of the most important one is a thing based molecular sums. In the molecular uh, forces of thin enable this film to produce an atomically flat two-dimensional uh, crystal surface. This thin based SAMS was used as a gate dielectric layer to create uh, low noise organic transistors. We have developed flexible organic transistor with a low noise level using thin SAMS based gate dielectric layers. Here, X axis is a frequency and the Y axis is a noise density normalized by the size of transistors. As shown in this red line, red data, the use of metoxy containing triptyphene SAMS as a gate dielectric layer make it possible to produce a transistor with the lowest noise level, which is smaller compared to the noise from the transistor with an extremely high quality polymeric gate dielectric layer. Uh, this improvement in the transistor characteristics is not a phenomenon observed only in DNTT semiconducting material. Actually, we have fabricated organic transistor on thin SAMs using other representative organic semiconducting material, C10 DNTT, Defenyl DNTT, C8 BTVT, and Defenyl BTVT semiconducting material, and confirm the improvement in the property of all transistors. The mobility is significantly enhanced, but the noise level is significantly reduced. As far as in our experiment, the improvement, improvement in the property of thin film transistors using triptyphene SAMS is a universal phenomenon observed in all organic semiconductors. This slide shows an uh, array of a single-ended organic uh, amplifier circuit. This is not differential amplifier circuit. As shown in the schematic circuit diagram on the light, the single-ended structure is characterized by a high gain of signal amplifier amplifications. Here, the red line indicates five microvolt input signal into this uh, amplifier circuit. And when the five microvolt signal indicated by this uh, red line was input into the amplifier circuit, the output signal of five millivolt was obtained. 
indicating that input signal was amplified about 1,000 times after passing through our amplification circuit. This means the gain of signal amplifications is 60 dB. And single-ended amplification circuit have a great advantage of high amplification gain. However, this has a major drawback. In fact, single-ended circuit uh, amplify the noise artifact at the same time. This situation means the signal to noise ratio, uh, which uh, indicate the signal uh, quality do not change if we use single-ended amplifier circuit. To overcome this, we have successfully developed uh, the differential amplification circuit on one micron thick plastic substrate. By preparing the circuit with exactly the same electrical characteristics on the right and the left side of the circuit. This system, differential pair circuit, cancel out the noise artifact at the common mode as the background. Using organic differential amplification circuit, we can amplify only biological signal while suppressing the noise. This allows for a large signal to noise ratios. This slide shows a circuit diagram of one cell of differential amplifier circuit. It consists of a P-type organic transistor and four capacitors. The circuit is very common uh, configurations. By placing the circuit with differential pair structure on the left and right, the electrical characteristics on the right and the left side of the circuit are exactly the same, so that it is possible to cancel out the noise artifact in common phase as a background. This is a magnified picture of one cell of an ultra flexible organ thin film differential amplifier of one micron thick plastic substrate. You can see the differential pair structure on the left and right. It can be clamped with a finger and still operate without any damage to the electrical or mechanical performance. This slide shows the performance of noise reductions in biological signal measurement. For example, electrocardiogram. Uh, ECZ. The black line in the left figure shows the electrocardiogram ECZ measurement without controlling the environment and without the use of differential amplifier circuit. You can see very large background noise, which is a hum noise from the power supply. And next, uh, look at the red line in the light figures. In the same environment, we found that the very clear electrocardiogram EcoZ, uh, ECZ from the heart was obtained using differential amplifier circuit. In the magnified view of the ECZ waveform, you can see all the component of ECZ signal, the PQRST wave. This result indicates the power supply noise can be accurately reduced by using our differential amplification circuit. In this way, noise components are reduced and signal to noise ratio was much improved by using differential amplifiers. This figure shows the results of ECZ monitoring during free moving using uh, three different measurement methods. 
here the black line show a low ECZ data measured without any environmental control. And you, uh, we can see, we cannot see the ECZ due to the uh, large background noise. And then the blue line show ECZ data measured using a single-ended a signal amplification circuit. This is not differential amplifiers. Although only the largest R wave here is seen, we cannot see the detailed ECZ data due to the noise artifact while walking. Uh, you can see that ECZ signal is largely fluctuated like this. And further, ECZ are not affected. Uh, and please see this uh, red line. And this red line shows that ECZ data measured using our differential uh, amplifier circuit. Actually, background noise is reduced. And then uh, we can see the clear ECZ data. Furthermore, the ECZ are not affected by the noise artifacts even while walking. It shows that ECZ can be measured stably and precisely. In this way, large background noise and motion artifacts were canceled out using our ultrasync uh, differential amplifiers. Uh, this movie shows uh, uh, ECZ monitoring that uh, integrated uh, stretchable electrode, ultrasound differential amplifier, and the thin film battery and wireless communication module. The upper two ECZ signal in blue and light blue are measured without the use of differential amplifier circuit. You can see the baseline is uh, largely fluctuated and very noisy. On the other hand, the bottom ECZ in red line is a signal where the noise and baseline fluctuation have been removed by our differential um, pair using our differential amplifiers. You can see how small noise there is using the same film differential amplifier. In this way, disturbant noise artifact can be significantly reduced. This is another demonstration movies uh, with uh, disassembled systems. Actually, brainwave EEZ is the smallest uh, voltage among the bioaction potential around the microvolt level. Here, attached the wired electrode to the forehead and the reference electrode to the ear load. The ECZ is amplified by our organic diff and amplifier circuit, and then input into the low cost wireless communication device equipped with a eight bit AD converter and battery and wireless modules. The signal is shown on the display here. And when he closed her eyes to make relaxing state. And you can see the strong uh, intensity of alpha wave that is seven to 12 hertz. This means his brain wave is now in relaxing state. In that case, this humanoid robot recognize his brain activity in a relaxing state. Therefore, this robot moved to the relaxing postures. And now he concentrate to generate the more uh, alpha wave. This means super relaxing state. In that case, this humanoid robot recognized his brain activity in super relaxing state. In that case, 
that humanoid robot made these super relaxing postures. Thanks to this organic thin film amplification circuit, microvolt brain wave was amplified to the millivolt signal. This is a good demonstration what happened in these systems. Uh, this figure shows a uh, uh, result of brain wave EEZ measured using uh, organic uh, amplification circuit in brood signals. The EEZ monitoring system integrated with organic differential amplifier and Bluetooth and battery was attached to the forehead as shown in these pictures. The red data are uh, EEZ brainwave signal obtained from the conventional medical devices as a reference. And the left figure shows the EEZ in the open eyes. And the right figure shows the EEZ brainwave signal in the closed eyes. And you can see the signal is almost two order of magnitude amplified using our organic uh, differential amplifiers. By comparing the two data, this red data is the reference data from the huge medical instrument. But you can see it is clear that signal is amplified without any, uh, any distortion, even when organic amplifiers are used. In this way, we have demonstrated the microvolt biological signal is amplified to the uh, millivolt signal using our differential amplifier, thanks to very low noise organic transistors. I would like to briefly introduce another applications using our uh, organic amplification circuit. In 2020, we have successfully developed ultra flexible organic magnetic sensor systems in a collaboration with uh, uh, Oliver, Professor Oliver Schmidt. Uh, very small uh, magnetic information is detected by a magnet resistive element fabricated on a one micron substrate. And the output signal is amplified using our organic amplification circuit. Again, uh, let me briefly introduce our ultra flexible self powered pulse wave measurement systems. This achievement has been um, uh, realized in an excellent collaboration with Dr. Barbara Stadlov and Dr. Andreas and Esther Petrolitz and their co worker at the Johannium Research Institute in Australia. This is a system that integrated a ferroelectric thin film made of fluorinated polymer, PNDPE, and organic thin film amplification circuit and thin film capacitors. It is a multi channel vibration measurement sensor that can accurately measure the pulse wave propagation velocity. From this uh, pulse wave velo uh, propagation velocities, we can get the estimated blood pressure. And one of the major challenge in the flexible electronic, electronics based on organic material is a device to device non-uniformity. The non-uniformity of electrical characteristics have made large scale integration very difficult. Very recently, we have successfully developed a new process for precise control of threshold voltage using optical technologies. And the new photosensitive polymer based on PNDPE in a collaboration with uh, uh, Dr. Barbara Stadlov uh, and uh, Andreas and Esther. A dynamic characteristics control technology after fabrication have suppressed the device to device non uniformities and made it possible to realize large scale system constructions. 
Uh, so far, I have been introducing our key technology of ultra flexible, stretchable, low noise electronics. And finally, I will uh, show you more application aspect using ultra flexible and stretchable electronics. That is a patch type electroencephalogram, so called EEZ patch. This is a research and development to easily measure brain wave EEZ, which is the smallest biological signal. This slide shows what we know the brain so far. As you may know, brain consists of almost 100 billion neurons protected by a thick skull. And brain is extremely soft material like pudding. In fact, the young modulus is about 10 kilopascal. And the brain signal are very small. Example, electronic signal related to the neuron activities are order of microvolt, as I mentioned previously. And the brain deal with a huge amount of information. For example, and self-communication by one person is 40,000 times per one day. However, the power consumption of the brain is less than 10 watts. It is ultra low power. And then one of the largest characteristics of the brain is extremely sensitive and delicate. I would like to explain about it in the next slide. This slide shows the bioelectrical potential from human bodies, your bodies. The signal from the eyeball, electroocheogram equal EOG, the electrical potential is the order of one to 10 millivolt. The signal from the heart, electro uh, cardiogram, ECG, I mentioned previously. The signal from the uh, stomach, the electrogastrogram, uh, ECG, the electrical potential is the order of one to 10 millivolt. The signal from the muscle, electromyogram, EMZ, one of the most famous signal from the bodies. The electrical potential is the order of 10 millivolt or over. Compared with the signal from the, uh, these organs, the signal from the brain outside the skull, electroencephalogram, EEZ, brain wave, is the order of 1 to 50 microvolt. In fact, EEZ is a three or four order of magnitude smaller than other biosignal. For this reason, the EEZ is not easy to measure. There are existing uh, excellent EEZ sensor, almost all are headgear form factors. Left figure shows a well-established medical instrument that medical doctors usually use in hospital. And the right figure shows a sophisticated wearable EEZ sensor now commercially available. Many of our collaborators usually use this system in the medical institutions. Although these are recognized as excellent sophisticated wearable uh, sensors, a lot of medical doctors collaborated with us have asked me to overcome the following issues. These are technical challenges to be overcome using ultra flexible and stretchable electronic devices. The first uh, is discomfort on wearing EEZ sensor because these systems require conductive gel electrode or a comb type needle like electrode to overcome electrical shielding effect from high electrical uh, resistive hair. The second is a difficulty in accurate sensing positions because these are, there are huge individual differences. The third is misalignment of EEZ sensor during 
activities because of a headgear form factor or the a lot of wiring. Then we developed the, this patch type EEZ in response to the demand from the medical communities using ultra flexible stretchable technologies. Simply attached to the forehead, this system can realize uh, real time multi channel brainwave monitoring with high accuracy comparable to the medical uh, instrument because this is have already a uh, medical devices. The weight is 24 gram, thickness is five millimeter, very cost effective because of printing technologies are used. I would like to emphasize here the user is hardly aware of the device when it is warm because thin and stretchable device technologies. The proposed imperceptible system with easy to use can operate the possibility and offering new solution regarding blame. Uh, before the technical detail, I would like to show you the demonstration movie again. This is our world first medical EEZ, simply attached to the forehead here. And you can see this brain waveform. And the whose uh, signal intensity is only 10 to minus 10 microvolts. But uh, using the phase uh, signal algorithm, Relax. this robot legal, uh, recognizes his brain activity in relaxed state. And also, this red law humanoid robot recognizes his brain activity in relaxed state because he found strong alpha wave. This is a good example. Okay, now I move on to the technical detail of this easy patch, which as is a seat type adhesive wireless uh, sense system with microvolt resolutions. This system consists of five components, stretchable electrode, analog front end module, including amplification circuit and AD converter, CPU, wireless module, uh, Bluetooth low energy, and the recent thin film uh, batteries, all integrated on one seat, especially one of the most important factor to realize measurement accurately is a stretchable bioadhesive electrode. I would like to explain about it. This seat type uh, bioadhesive electrode are manufacturing using our screen printing systems. This is a whole picture of our stretchable electrode. Transparent area is a stretchable adhesive area to attach to the forehead. And the surface is coated with a highly biocompatible gel and water like textures. And uh, White area is a rigid component for interconnecting to the wireless module and eddy converters. You can see the printed silver conductors with an easy electrode attached to the forehead to monitoring the brain activities. We have a lot of conductive material for stretchable conductors. But today, time is very limited. I show you the typical conductive material and the processes. The stretchable conductor are formed using silver nanowire prepared by wet process using our uh, original solution process. Very long silver nanowires are uniformly dispersed in the conventional organic solvent. In this way, we prepared the silver nanowire-based conductive ink. If you are interested in the material and the process, please look at our recent publications. This slide shows the manufacturing process of uh, our stretchable electrodes. Silver nanowire ink are patterned using our printing technologies on a stretchable polyurethane substrate. This is a magnified picture of our silver nan wires after printing. You can see a lot of intersection area. These are very weak and fragile physical connections. 
in order to overcome these situations, we use photosintering uh, process using high intensity pulsed light using xenon lamp. After the process, after this sintering process, silver nanowire fuses into silver nanomesh and high temperature more than 500 degrees Celsius near the substrate result making in fact, as you can see the, in these pictures, the half of silver nanomesh is embedded into the polyurethane substrate. This situations enhance the reliability and the stability of our stretchable electrode. Uh, this slide shows a cyclic test of 20% stretching on this uh, stretchable electrode, even though we apply a lot of stretching cycle. As you can see in this red signal, there are no change in resistance after we use photosintering process. As you can see, using our photosintering process and the combinations of this uh, silver nanowire based uh, conductive material, we uh, realize the very stable and stretchable highly conductive uh, gel electrode. A lot of people may worry about the intrinsic characteristics of silver ion migrations and its toxicities, so that we have developed gold metallization process by using electroplating process. As you can see in this uh, TEM pictures, you can see very thin one or two nanometer thick gold layer is formed using our um, electroplating process. In this way, uh, we confine the ion migrations and its toxicity. Uh, Shiyoshi, we are almost at the end of the uh, all right. time. I will, I will finish only uh, one minute, all right? Right, thanks a lot. Okay. And, uh, if you are interested in this process, uh, all the uh, data is published and we use uh, PMC3A. This is a biocompatible material and very important material. And all the manufacturers using uh, our printing technology onto this substrate. And finally, uh, we realize this very stretchable uh, electrode which can be stretched more than 100%. And all are integrated, uh, all system and device are integrated into our easy patch. And we realize this medical device. And when we compare the signal and the, compared with this medical instrument, uh, we found the identical waveform. And now we are ready for distribute this um, easy patch to the uh, every fear like a uh, self-care uh, device like uh, electrical thermometer, manometer, and weight scale. And the final message, uh, the time is limited, so I would like to skip the technical detail of the uh, implantable ECOZ and the LFPC uh, device, but in a combination of patch easy, and the implantable ECOZ and the LFP for unveiling the brain unknown. Uh, this is our, one of the, our final goal. Not only the biomedical applications, I believe stretchable large area electronics using organics can cover arbitrary curved surfaces for realizing the excellent uh, digital societies. And thank you very much for your kind attentions and thank you very much for this great opportunity. Uh, if you have uh, questions, please ask me or please email me. I'm very happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much for your great opportunities.